condolences and our prayers go out to the victims, families, and their friends. 117 based at Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico went down during a raid over Kosovo. A pilot operating out of Aviano Air Base in Italy suffered only minor scratches and was picked. Back in New York at 1029, the North Tower at the World Trade Center collapses. In the past, the enemy has exploited the use of cyberspace to their benefit. Cyberspace is the electromagnetic spectrum, from DC to daylight, the gamma rays and beyond. In cyberspace, we sense, signal, connect, transmit, process, and control to deliver both destructive and non-destructive effects. The United States Air Force recognizes cyberspace as a warfighting domain equal to that of land, air, sea, and space. Future military success will require the mastery of this domain. The initial concept of cyberspace was developed in the 1940s by Norbert Wiener, the father of cybernetics. Wiener's application of the science was simple. Cybernetics is communication and control, or in other words, it allows us to affect processes through communication and feedback to achieve near real-time predictability to deliver effects. The control of cyberspace is critical to our ability to observe, orient, decide, and act against the enemy. We call this the OODA loop. Within this OODA loop, we must integrate sensors, achieve predictive situational awareness, exercise dynamic command and control, and finally, deliver the necessary kinetic and non-kinetic effects on the enemy. Let's consider how this theoretical concept might play out in a real-world scenario on a tactical level. A perimeter defense phalanx operator team takes mortar fire from an enemy position. The operators act quickly and successfully neutralize the enemy's fire. But instead of responding by striking this enemy position with counter-battery fire, they relay the insurgents' counter-battery coordinates to an airborne sensor shooter platform. The airborne platform quickly finds, tracks, fixes, and fires on the enemy's position, killing or wounding several of them. As the enemy contingent evacuates the area, the airborne platform tracks their movement. Based on the track of the insurgent movement, the operators anticipate that they are heading for medical treatment. The airborne platform operator passes this essential information to a friendly ground team, which intercepts the insurgents as they arrive at the medical facility. The insurgents are taken into custody for questioning and intelligence gathering. Critical intelligence reveals the location of insurgent leadership and active operational command and control, a key target in eliminating insurgent influence across the region. Many nations are embracing cyberspace both in action and in doctrine. Future conflicts could be decided by who masters this domain first. Successful operational control of cyberspace will enhance our freedom of action, while simultaneously denying the enemy's freedom of action across the electromagnetic spectrum. The Air Force is activating combat-ready forces, trained and equipped to conduct sustained combat operations throughout the electromagnetic spectrum, to fully integrate air, space and cyberspace operations in the joint battle space.